What's happening guys and welcome to a new episode from my FIFA 14 team review series. For the ones that are new on my channel and new to this series, it's all about giving you guys the best lineups, formations and tactics for the major teams in FIFA 14. It's now time for the best Serie A team Juventus Torino. First and most important thing about this team are the defenders. You have just some amazing players in these positions and because of this I chose two formations that are based on a free player defense. So Chiellini, Barzagli and Ogbona are strong tall with good pace for a defender and they are just freaking amazing in the air. You can swap one of them with the Caceres who is faster but in my opinion not as good in the air as them. With these two formations you can put great pressure on your opponent and get the ball back very fast. In defense you need to be very careful and only contain with the defenders. Never make a wrong tackle because you could leave a very big gap in your defense. Buffon is a great goalkeeper, he has the height, the reflexes and as long as he plays he will be in my world top 3. As CDMs Pogba and Vidal complete themselves perfectly. I had also Marquisio for one of that positions but Pogba and Vidal were just too good to live outside. As a left midfielder Asamoah worked perfectly for me, he doesn't have very nice overall but he has a nice combo of speed, strength and control of the ball. On the right Lichtsteiner he is indeed fast but to be honest he didn't impress me with anything Although he can make a lot of crosses and get some nice balls in for the strikers. Now in the 3-4-2-1 I have of course Lorente as a center striker. This guy is so slow but he is just freaking amazing at headers. I scored so many goals with him from crosses. He was just incredible. He was he is tall and strong and he also has fantastic heading accuracy. Alongside uh, Lorente I am using Tevez and Jovinko, Tevez is one of my favorite players in this team, strong, fast, powerful and with insane long shots. I have him on the right so he can make those powerful shots at the far post. Jovinko was impressive even though he is so fragile and he doesn't have uh, strength, the defenders barely touch him because he was so freaking agile and with 4 star skill moves. I made some great moves in attack using this player. The only thing you can change when using the 3-5-2 is Vucinic instead of Lorente. If you want to add some variety to your game, this guy is faster and better with the ball. Of course, he is not as good at headers like the Spanish. Main idea when using Juventus is to play with 3 defenders and always press your opponent in his own half. But as long as he makes a transit pass and gets in your own half, just contain and let him make the mistake. So guys this was my team review of Juventus, I hope you enjoyed it and it would be great if you could drop a like and hit the subscribe button so you get updated each time I upload new content.